uh, you've also mentioned in your book about the time that you were stuck in Kuwait by the Iraqi invasion. That's so right. Tell us a little about that. Yes, yeah. Uh, my adventures, adventurous life actually began when I was 27 years uh, wise. I went to work in Kuwait as uh, Kuwait's first female recreation manager at the Holiday Inn Crown Plaza in Kuwait, far away near. And I'd only been there nine months. I had just come back from a holiday, actually. And uh, Iraq decided to invade Kuwait. And I was there in hiding for around three weeks uh, in charge of guest morale, which was very interesting. Um, and finally, managed to escape across the desert uh, making it to Saudi to Riyadh uh, in full disguise um, really stopped by troops in the middle of the desert that probably didn't know what they were there for and managed to escape through that and uh, taken to a refugee camp uh, to be placed with the Saudi family which then I kind of finally lost my sense of humor and said no take me to the British Embassy I met a lovely guy there called Tom Banks who was the consul there phoned my family in the UK, they sent money through the foreign office and I was able to fly out of the war zone and um, really reflect from the chair at home thinking how fortunate I was to have escaped. Um, that said, um, as soon as Liberation Day came around a year later, or February, I think it was 20 February 1991, I was back in Kuwait. So the adventure continued.